Hello and welcome to Flipped. So today we are on ammonia and these are the learning objectives for today. So ammonia is uh, used in fertilizers and it provides the plants with nitrogen to increase the yield of crops for food and etc. So the main thing here is nitrogen, okay? Because ammonia, its uh, chemical formula is NH3, okay? This is the one that we are interested in, okay? The nitrogen in ammonia. Okay, the reactions are as such, okay? First, it can react with uh, acid to form a salt, okay? So what we have here, okay, is ammonia reacting with a hydrochloric acid to give us um, this ammonium chloride, okay? Similarly, um, this is another acid, which is sulfuric acid. So ammonia reacts with sulfuric acid to give us a uh, ammonium sulfate, okay? This is not neutralization, okay? Why? Because neutralization, okay, is H plus reacting with OH minus to give us water molecule. Okay, you can see that there's H plus involved here, but there are no OH minus um, at all. Okay, and hence there's no water form. So this is reaction is not considered a neutralization. Okay, secondly, ammonia can also react can also react with water to give us ammonium salt plus um, hydroxide ions. How this works is that okay the um, ammonia takes in one hydrogen okay and <coughs> sorry what's remaining it's a hydroxide ion so this is a um, reaction with water okay to give us ammonium salt with hydroxide ion okay and you can see there's a special thing here okay this is the first time we have encountered this so this okay it's a reversible arrow okay so this is a reversible reaction okay what does this mean okay this means that the reaction okay for example in the case of the ammonia with acid this reaction only proceeds from the left to the right it means that all ammonia and all hydrochloric acid react to form um, ammonium chloride but in this case it's not the case okay um there are some portions that form here okay that means uh nh3 react with water to form ammonium salt and hydroxide but there are also some portions that remain and did not um, proceed to the right uh, as such because when they proceed to the right they can uh, when they are at this region in the right position they can always shift back, shift back to the left position okay so it's a dynamic uh, relationship what do i mean means that this one can always go here go here go here go here go here okay so it's a uh, it just keeps moving from left to right and right to left okay until there's a um equilibrium okay equilibrium is the keyword here okay but the main thing here is that you have to know okay is that this is not a full reaction that means not all ammonia and all water forms ammonium salt and hydroxide ion, ion because this is a reversible reaction okay we will use this in the uh the next part which is Haber process so for Haber process, okay, this is an industrial process, means uh, it's done large scale, okay, um, and it's to produce ammonia basically, okay, it's to produce ammonia in industries, okay, the raw materials are obviously nitrogen and hydrogen, okay, because uh, ammonia, okay, um, it's NH3, okay, so it requires one hydrogen, one nitrogen atom and three uh, hydrogen atoms, okay, so uh, the two raw materials, okay, it's nitrogen and oxygen. So how do we obtain nitrogen? It's really from air, okay? We can just take it from air, but we have to do fractional distillation, okay? Which means to separate the different components of air to give us nitrogen. To get hydrogen, okay, it can also be obtained in air, but it's lesser in amount compared to nitrogen. So a more reliable way to obtain hydrogen is to uh, go by cracking of hydrocarbons. Okay, remember cracking, okay, let me just uh, do a recap here, okay, cracking is really just to break down a uh, complex um, organic molecules into less complex ones, okay, so for example, I have a, uh, okay, this may not be um, a real molecule or something, okay, just to show you, okay, this is cracking, it, so for example, I have a C6H8 a molecule here, okay, it um, breaks down into this guy okay so you can see that this long chain has broken into a shorter chain and this hydrogen has um, evolved from this uh, reaction 
And this is what we mean by cracking, okay? It's really just to take a long chain of hydrocarbon to break it into a shorter chain and hydrogen gets uh, evolved as a result, okay? That's where we get the hydrogen required for this uh, reaction. Okay, so this is the chemical reaction you can see. Nitrogen gas uh, with three units of hydrogen gas to give us um, two units of uh, ammonia gas, okay? And this is, again, as with the previous uh, example, this is reversible. It means that this reaction, these two uh, molecules can come here. This one can also break down to form this again. Okay, so it's a never-ending cycle of back and forth. Okay, in terms of uh, the diagram itself, this is not in your syllabus. You don't have to remember how to draw this diagram or label them. Okay, this is just to give you an idea of how it works in the uh, industry. So what, here, what you have here is the hydrogen and nitrogen. Okay, you just pump into this reactor. Okay. They will react here with catalyst. We'll talk about this later. And it will form uh, nitrogen. Okay, so via this path, it's okay, like this. Okay, this one is the normal way, right? It's the left foot, um, left to right direction. Okay, it just uh, forms this nitrogen, which is collected here. Okay, this is where it's collected. But you also know that nitrogen, okay, sorry, ammonia, uh, is not a complete reaction. Okay means that when it's in ammonia phase, it can always break down to form these two uh, molecules again. So this is what happens here. You can see that from here, okay, this nitrogen um, decides to, oh, I want to break down, okay? I want to break down into uh, hydrogen and nitrogen, okay? Which will be circulated and pumped into here again, okay? And it joins the uh, yellow one to keep uh, forming nitrogen, okay? So it's a never-ending cycle, okay? It's just continuous. It's a loop because you cannot get 100% of nitrogen, uh, ammonia okay, as the final product. So you have to keep redoing this uh, experiment. Okay, so these are the conditions required. Okay, this one you have to memorize. Um, the temperature, you have to do it at 450 degrees Celsius, which is considered high. Okay. For pressure, it's around 200 atm. Okay, this is, uh, this is a unit for pressure. Okay, this is also considered high. Okay, and this is the catalyst required, which is finely divided iron. Basically, it's really just a very, very small particles of iron, okay? Because we know that iron is a, is a solid, right? It's a metal, okay? But this is um, finely divided. It means it's chopped up into very, very small pieces, okay? So this is finely, di finely divided iron, okay? This is the catalyst you will use uh, here. This is the one, okay? Let me just draw it here. This is the one, um, sorry. This is the catalyst required, okay? It's here. Okay, this is where you pass through the gases to make it form ammonia. Okay, then there are some things to note here. Is that uh, this is, I've said this before, but let me just repeat it again. The reaction is reversible. It means that, okay, it does not go to completion. It means that um, nitrogen, hydrogen, they do not 100% form ammonia. Okay, some will always go back to this reaction, to this, uh, this phase, basically. And it reaches an equilibrium state. So what do I mean? Um, it will eventually reach a um equilibrium state, which is like this. Let me just show you. Okay, two and H three. It means that okay, you can never get hundred percent here. So what this will mostly look like, maybe it will be around twenty five percent of this, twenty five percent of this, fifty percent of this. Okay, this is just a rough gauge of um percentage of where the um molecules will be at. Okay, so only. 50% on the left hand side, 50% on the right hand side. Okay, hope it's clear. Okay, this is what it means by it reaches an equilibrium state. Okay, it means that it will eventually balance out in some sense. Also, one thing to note is that optimum conditions uh, for this process is actually high temperature and low pressure. Here we can see that high temperature is already being checked. Okay, so we just leave it there. But actually, the optimum condition is low pressure, which we do not have. We actually use high pressure. Why is that the case? It's because Low pressure will result in a very very slow reaction. Okay, this then it means the power have the power plant has to run. You know, for example, twenty four hours per day. Okay, that will be two uh, waste of energy. So there's a compromise being made. Okay, and that means compromise is like for example, um, you take the lesser of the two evil. Okay, so that's that's how it, that's why it means. Uh, what we do. Okay, uh, what the industry does is that it takes low it it um compromises the low temperature. And uses high high eh, sorry, it compromises the low pressure and uses the high pressure instead, so that reaction will be fast. Okay, so it's like no choice. Okay, because we want the reaction to be fast, um, so we use high pressure. 
even though low pressure is the optimum condition. Okay, so this one may come out also. Uh, they might test you what is the optimum condition for the process. This is actually it, okay, high temperature and low pressure. But no choice, and hence we use high pressure, is because the reaction will go faster. Okay, then uh, via a low pressure system. Okay, so hopefully that's uh that's clear for Haber process, which is just which is just a way to produce ammonia in industries. Okay, finally we move on to um the displacement of ammonia from its salts. So displacement really just to means uh remove. Okay, it just means remove. So for example, here you have uh ammonium salt. Okay, this is uh, ammonium chloride reacting with a metal hydroxide in the set in the example i gave is a calcium hydroxide okay uh, it will react so basically how it how it reacts is the is quite um it's a uh, similar to all the other reactions okay you can see here let me just draw it out for you okay calcium clock so they'll just swap basically okay they'll just uh do a massive swap okay so um so ca will go with cl cacl calcium chloride and the uh, um ammonium will give one uh h to the hydroxide which will give us the um water sorry different color will give us water okay because one h goes to oh goes to water what's remaining okay it's ammonia and this guy okay it's displaced means it comes out from the reaction okay how this will look like in an experimental setup, let me just draw for you. This is my ammonium salt, for example. Okay, uh, all reactions have to be done uh, in liquid, so it's faster. Okay, so maybe I'll just throw in, this is CaOH. This is uh, NH4Cl. Okay, so when I throw these two reactions in, okay, then I stir and heat them up, okay, for the reaction to go faster. Okay. What this will result in, it's uh, a salt. Let me just use white. Okay, will result in a salt. Okay, they're still dissolved in this solution because they are equals, right? Remember? And, and, then, and there's water. Okay, but there will be some gas uh, coming out from it. And this gas is ammonia. Okay, and that's how you uh, displace ammonia from its salt. And usually we will be wanting to collect this, right? So maybe we will link it up to another system, okay? So that we can uh, collect it in another flask, for example. Okay, this is a, a flask, so it can be collected here. Okay, that's how we uh, trap the ammonia that is being given off. Okay, so this is a, this is an extension of uh, ammonia in the environment, okay? Uh, sorry, ammonium salts in the environment. Okay, so basically, when calcium hydroxide is present in soil, okay, like plants, um, they grow on soil, right? So when you put in uh, ammonium fertilizers, okay, they will react away. Okay, so basically, it renders them useless because uh, what is important in ammonia, like I mentioned, is the nitrogen. So without the nitrogen present now, okay, because it's being given away, displaced, um, the plants cannot take in the nitrogen for its growth. Okay, so basically... If you already have calcium hydroxide in the soil, you add in ammonia fertilizer, um, nothing will happen. Okay? The plants will not grow faster or better because um, the reaction takes place and that's why you will not get uh, what you want, okay? which is for the plants to take in nitrogen. Okay? And that is all for ammonia.